Hey, good morning, everybody. Just want to talk to you about how to move a mountain. I'm out of Matthew chapter 17, verse 20, and we're going to talk about that today. But for now, I'd like to see where you're coming in from. Um, go ahead and uh, tell a friend about this broadcast that we are talking about how to move a mountain. Um, don't you have mountains in your life? I know I do. I know things that uh, I need to conquer. Um, I need to get them moved out of my way, one or the other. Uh, so, so we need to we need to know what the Bible says about what to do with the mountains in our lives. So, good morning, everybody. Again, please let me know where you're coming in from. Uh, also, be sure to share this with somebody. Um, this is kind of like your. It's starting to become a pattern with me, kind of like your Friday breakthrough message. All right. So, so anyway, um, I love breakthrough messages. Amen. Amen. Uh, we see Mary Ayala. She's in Turlock today. Hello, Mary. Mary. Uh, we have Killeen, Texas. Uh, we have Merced. We have Tucson. Also, awesome. Tennessee. Wonderful. And Lakewood, California. Awesome. Very good. All right. Again, talking about how to move a mountain. Love it. We got Canada. I've been seeing a lot more Canada show up <laughs> in my, in my uh, feeds here. It's great. What's going on, Canada? Um, all right, uh, let's see here. Wonderful, thanks for telling me where you're coming from. Mississippi, awesome, excellent. Surprise, Arizona, what a great name for a city. All right, so how to move a mountain. I'm coming out of uh, Matthew chapter 17, verse 20, if you wanna earmark it. Um, we have a few things coming up. Um, we have the Seeing the Supernatural uh, online course. Uh, it's gonna be um, not this weekend, but next weekend, it's a Friday night. Uh, two hours of, of like teaching and then after that we're just going to blast with questions so I'm going to I'm going to hop into my social media and kind of open it up uh, we'll get the questions ahead of time and I'm going to be answering them on my my public social media because I think uh, this is a good time uh, we're in a good season where this is this is when we want to learn these things okay and and get these solid we also have the glory and prayer institute that's coming up October 20th to 22nd oh my gosh <laughs> like the miracles are already starting friends um uh, even in the, in the area and the realm that I'm going to be talking about today the miracles are already starting and that that tells me something we start seeing things happen like two, three months before we even get there. Okay, I already know it's gonna blast. So uh, all this is at jenniferevaz.com. Make sure that you um, register now. Um, Glory and Prayer Institute, the price is gonna increase uh, September 1. So uh, register now and it'll be better for you. Okay, so let's go back to how to move a mountain. Uh, Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. It says, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move and nothing will be impossible for you. Okay, I'm gonna read it again. If you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. So let's kind of like dig into this, um, because there's some some things in here. Sometimes um, if we don't kind of dig a little deeper, we're gonna miss it. And I think that this will help so many of you, and it'll help you to be at peace with some mountains in your life, because if you understand principle, if you understand what the word says, then you can just work the word and the word will work for you. Amen. <laughs> so we want to really be word people. Um, so I don't know, you know, we were being shouted at, you know, from pretty much every direction, uh, chaos, scarcity, um, you know, uh, bad times ahead. And let's say that's all true. Let's, let's say that what we're hearing, that there's some truth in it. Um, people in the kingdom of God, people who know God's word, people who know these things, um, everything may be going crazy around you, but it's not going to come near you. You're going to be hedged. You're going to be secure. Uh, miracles will happen for you. And, you know, it, it, the Lord will, will, will point you out. I mean, there will be blessing on your life because you understand his word and you have faith in his word and you work his word. Okay. And so, so that's really, I mean, being the believer means I believe his word and I actually live like his word is true and I do what his word says. And, and, you know, you, you just come into blessing, 
uh, just like that. It, it's really that way. A lot of times we want to circumvent it. Uh, we want to we want to take control and and do it our own way, and it just doesn't work. So let's just get back to the word and let the word work for you. Amen. So back to Matthew seventeen twenty. If you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, "Move from here to there." It'll move, and nothing will be impossible for you. All right. So this whole thing about the mustard seed. There's a lot of people, and and it is accurate. They they say you know mustard seed is the smallest seed it becomes the biggest tree so if you just have a little bit of faith start with where you're at and just begin to speak it out speak to your mountain speak to your mountain okay so yes do that all of that is right correct but i've been looking at the seed very differently these days okay especially when we're seeing things like um supply chain you know breakdowns and scarcity talk and recession talk and I'm, i've been looking at the seed very differently because i know that you can live above what they're saying i totally know it i mean i, I went through the the housing recession and, you know um, I've, I've been through some serious recessions over the last you know two or three decades and i i've seen the word work every single time okay we're still here we're still prospering praise the lord we're still blessed so we can be a blessing um you know and so going back to the seed and going and and you know partnering that with second corinthians chapter 9 which is all about the offering it's all about the offering and it just says that you know it describes and it says that the seed is the offering which is the financial offering it says this is what the seed is in this context so when you think of seed you want to think of a financial offering okay if i have faith as a mustard seed so something has to be planted okay something has to be planted something has to be um spoken over <laughs> all right and for you to plant a seed of faith an offering of faith, when you have a mountain in front of you, when it just seems like that's the most backwards things to do, okay, that is faith. Why am I doing that? Because God, God's word said it. And so I'm doing this because I have faith in God's word. That's the mustard seed of faith. I'm planting a seed so that I can get a mountain moved, all right? which which uh, tells us that we can have there's some you know we can have some intentionality excuse my words here let me gra get my words together here intentionality okay got it we can have some intentionality you're going to remember this uh in regards to why we're planting that seed i've got a mountain in front of me it's a uh, uh, you know, I, I've got some loved ones that need salvation and it is right now we are a desperate stage <laughs> or, or I'm looking, you know, to see uh, the next breakthrough in my business because I want to be blessed so I could be a blessing. Okay. And, you know, God talks about how, um, uh, you know, he, he gives seed to the sower. He provides seed to the farmer, uh, you know, and he will provide an increased resource and produce a great harvest of generosity in you and through you. Uh, you know, so the Lord is in, into your increase, but it starts with the seed. If you want to prophesy, you want to predict accurately your harvest tomorrow. Okay, that could be financial, that could be whatever, and um, whatever realm that is, okay? Um, uh, you, you've got to look at the seed first. Um, if there's no seed planted, then there will not be a harvest. And, and you know, we, I don't know, I don't look at, like, amounts, like, there's not like, a, well, if you give this kind of, this amount seed or that amount seed, because each person's in a different place, you know, in their resources, um, you know, Jesus, he he looked, he talked about the widow who gave the, the two mites, which is like nothing compared to what most people gave. And he said, hey, uh, that's all she had. And so she gave everything. Okay, so so in his estimation, that was like a 100% offering, you know, all that she owned. She put it into the offering. And you know, if Jesus is watching over the offering like that, uh, she had a blessing coming to her after all of that. We didn't see the end of the story, but we know what his word says. And so the whole thing about this is um, the Lord's, you know, he woke me up one morning and he says, Jennifer, you are good soil. And I thought that was the most oddest, strangest thing, challenging thing for me to hear God say, because that meant I was going to have to start talking to people about a realm that I didn't want to talk about because I think it's funky. A lot of people take advantage of people in this kind of realm. A lot of ministries, they game and gimmick and, and it's not genuine and it's just for the money and it's just for all of that. Um, I, I hate that stuff. So this has been extremely challenging for me. But at the same time, I do know that there are a lot of ministries that God would speak to you about and he would say, this is a ministry you want to sow into. This is good soil based on 2 Corinthians chapter 9. And he would say, this is a, this is a, a sowing place so that you can sow in, in uh, the mustard seed 
and you can speak to the mountain and this is like a breakthrough ground for you okay um so he's spoken that over me i know there's other ministries like that as well um and we're talking about the offering we're not talking about the tithe the tithe goes to your church um don't send me your tithes i have actually talked to one person i'm like don't give me your tithes that needs to go to church um you know your your place of of you know worship if you don't have a place um, and you're in between. We have harvestonline.church. Okay, so you can join our our church, our actual you know physical church. You can join us online. It's it's very good. Um, you know, it has a very good community, and and that would be a place for you to consider if you need a church where you can actually give ties. Okay, so um, but as far as the offer is concerned, um, you know that can go anywhere. That can go to your church anywhere. Um, I know the Lord told me that I'm good soil. I know there's others out there. Um, if you need a sewing place, you just go jenniferivez.com, hit the give tab and, and go there. Um, but here's what I want to assure you is that in the kingdom of God, there's no scarcity. And the challenge these days is staying generous, um, and keeping the seed, uh, you know, keep sowing the seed. That's the challenge these days because we're hearing a lot of screaming in our ears about scarcity and we're worried about the future. There's no scarcity in the Lord. Um, we're not looking to wealth. Um, uh, you know, we don't identify with wealth. We don't identify with prosperity. We identify with the source. God is the source. Why are we blessed? Um, why do we have breakthrough so that we can be a blessing? Um, there's a testimony on the other side of your breakthrough, a testimony that for all you know, is going to go global. Um, you know, I've seen uh, people you, you never expect. They, they get this breakthrough and they happen to be the testimony. They have maybe one testimony and they just share that testimony over and over again. It goes around the globe. I know one guy, he's got a ministry and he has one testimony and he literally has shared the one testimony for years now. And the Lord has blessed him to be a blessing. It's incredible. Okay. So you got a mountain, you got a mountain. Well, consider the seed and plant the seed and speak to the mountain. Okay. That's your breakthrough message today. Thank you so much.